Live fire cooking isn't just about putting great steaks on at dinner. Think about cooking around the live fire for an awesome breakfast. We're gonna put all the things on. We're gonna make an awesome beef hash, steak and eggs, the coffee will be there. Join us around the fire for your next Sunday brunch. We're making a beef breakfast hash. We're starting with certified Angus beef, 80% lean. Chuck, ground chuck is what I've got. Hey, beef is going into our hash. We're not putting pork in our breakfast this morning. Let's get that on to start to build our hash. We're starting with tallow to get our beef on. Heat's just right. When you're browning ground beef, you want an even layer to build on. Think of like a real thin burger patty because you want to build a good sear on one side. Don't just start chopping it all up and, and mixing it quickly. Let one side develop a crust. You know what I love about live fire cooking is, is the relationship you need to have with the fire. The fire is going to do its thing and you have to do your thing. You have to understand how each other work. You have to learn what the fire is telling you. This isn't about managing fire. It's about having a relationship with fire where you both understand each other. It was telling me I got a strong fire going right down the center. I backed it off so it wasn't too hot because I don't want to burn this. Seasoning going in here is very sausage like good amount of herbs. So fresh sage, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, salt, pepper, garlic, red pepper flakes. When you smell that sage, that's what you're gonna think of with that smell of breakfast. This is gonna be your new breakfast sausage for sure. Ah, oh, it's looking good. All right, now that we've got it all brown, we're gonna pull that off the slotted spatula. Check this out, pull that out temporarily. We're just talking breakfast hash here, frozen diced potatoes going in. Just like the ground beef, I wanna let those potatoes sit on there to really brown. So I've got some red peppers and some Vidalia onions. The Vidalia onions are gonna give us a good sweetness to this. And also they're kind of special. You just can't get Vidalias all the time. It's April through Labor Day and that's the season. That's when they're available. So that makes it a little more special. Plus, you know, you can eat a Vidalia straight on. It's so sweet. It doesn't have that acidic bite that, that, that a lot of people don't like with onions. And we're gonna join that ground beef back in the party. There's the flavor. I think we're just gonna set this aside and we're gonna put the steaks over the hot fire. Chef Gavin brought me these perfect sirloin steaks, ideal for breakfast steaks. Thin cut, you know, about three quarter inch thick, maybe six or eight ounces each. I love sirloin steaks for breakfast. Versatile, affordable. Our special blend here, some pink Himalayan. Our special blend of five pepper spice to go on, five pepper blend. And then we're gonna go right over high heat, get in on that hot spot with these six steaks. Now a lot of people just want a little bit of a little steak so I've got two options here for my hungry folks and for one with just a little taste of steak. Get closer to the heat. Can you see these embers in here? They're ideal because it's ashed over, the coals are nice and hot. That's what you want with the high heat. And your hand can stand up for maybe one or two seconds. You're gonna have some good searing. While these are searing on that side, I'm gonna add salt and pepper to the other side. Do the, do the steaks aside. Check it out. Ah, oh, this looks great. I'm digging that. You know what's cool about this? I can stay on the heat if I want, or I can pull those steaks right off the chill, right? And then I can go eggs getting hot right in here. Hey, how about we get some eggs started? These petites don't take long. I'm gonna make sure they don't overcook. All right, so these can be my warming. This is my warming zone. Put some eggs in. I can fit probably three. Hey, 
Breakfast is about ready, guys. Let's get that coffee on. We got a little cowboy coffee to go with this. We'll just make sure we keep it warm right there. These eggs, we'll just finish up with a little lid on top. Gather the troops, it's time to eat. Seems like there's a lot of things going on, right? But it's really about close to the fire or away from the fire. These things could all be taken to the table if you like, but I like the idea of using it as a warming table. Just getting the fire started and then starting something cooking on hearing the crackle, all of it, it just starts, people start gravitating toward the fire. And I think that's, that's what's just great about it. It's just gradually things will come off and people eat. It's not real formal. Um, it's, it's just a great way to enjoy the weekend and the family. Here's hoping you like the idea of bringing beef to brunch. Go ahead and tell us in the comments what you're gonna do for your next brunch. Have any questions? Hit us up.